A girl comes to her fiancé's house to pay respects to her ancestors, only to be scolded and driven away by Jack's grandmother. She didn't take it personally. Instead, she does her best to show herself by doing her chores. Jack sees this and mocks her as a wolf in sheep's clothing and wouldn't let him get away with it. Every time she sees him, her stomach turns to vomit. Jack was dumbfounded by the comment. Then she came to help in the kitchen. She taught him how to open the fish herself. She didn't act like a lady. The maids were very complimentary of the young lady. Jack, who was passing outside, smiled at this. Annie is then taken by her mother-in-law to meet her grandmother. The demented grandmother asked Annie to carry her on her back. The housekeeper came out to relieve Annie, but the grandmother kicked her out of the way. The kind-hearted Annie doesn't want to make things difficult for everyone. She picks up her grandmother to cheer her up, but as she swung around, grandma suddenly wet her trousers. Jack saw the embarrassing scene, but Annie didn't care. She continued to carry her into her room to change her clothes. This made Jack feel a little more comfortable with her. By the end of the evening service, Annie helped pack up again, but when she picked up her grandfather's tablet, the light began to flicker. So Annie lit a match for the light. She was startled by the sudden appearance of Jack. Jack. When the light came on they both fell to the ground. Jack's admirer, Linda, saw the scene. She was so angry she turned and ran away. Jack thinks she's doing it on purpose to show Linda. Annie says she's the victim. Jack leaves with a disgusted look on his face. It turns out that Linda is Anna's best friend. She's had a crush on Jack for years. She asks Jack if he's going to marry Anna. But Jack says it's a family decision. Besides, she didn't believe in love. It doesn't matter who she marries. Linda takes the opportunity to make her love known to him. But she is rebuffed mercilessly. And he leaves. Linda couldn't control herself anymore. She rushed up to him and said if it didn't matter, then why can't it be herself? A helpless Jack turns his head to find Annie watching from a distance, immediately breaking away from Linda's embrace. Annie saw that she had been discovered. She fled in fear. Jack suddenly feels distracted, finds Annie rescuing her kittens. It turned out that the mother cat had died. Annie was going to bury her, so she asks Jack to dig a hole with a shovel. But as the heir to the Sun Group, he didn't know how to do that. With Annie looking at him with disdain, he picked up the shovel and dug the hole anyway, but he couldn't dig at all, and was disappointed by his clumsy performance. Picking up the shovel and spitting at him. Jack was speechless at this. I can't believe such vulgar words coming from a lady of the house. After the two of them had buried the cat, Jack took Annie home. He was about to explain the truth about Linda. Annie was distracted by the kitten's pee. Jack was furious. No one had ever dared to ignore him like that. The next day, Annie and Jack returned to the office for an interview. Suddenly an emotionally distraught woman appeared. She grabbed a tomato and threw it at Jack.